Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. This is Anatoly. We're talking everything Agile, Agile tools. Today we're talking about Jira. And today we're talking about a very weird use case. Let's say we have two separate projects, not boards, but projects. Can they share the same sprint? And if so, how is that working? We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about use cases and we're going to actually create that today. But before we do, I have two things I want to tell you. If you want to learn Jira in about eight hours from beginner to pre-advanced with all the permissions and groups and workflows, you can go in the description below and check out my Jira course. It is very, very affordable and you can learn Jira in eight hours completely still. So please go and do it. Uh, the other thing is, let's say you are stuck and you need help, my help, and you want to make a video call with me where I'll explain you things from Agile, from Jira, whatever you want, and we're going to talk stuff. Uh, you can book um, time in my calendar. Just go down to description, click on the Calendly link, and let's talk. And the second thing is, uh, if you are a company, and let's say you want to have an Agile transformation, or you want somebody to help you configure Jira, answer your questions, uh, please contact me. Go to defineagile.com, there are contact form, or send me an email, defineagile.com or gmail.com, or anatoly at defineagile.com, any of those ways work. And uh, I'll get back to you, and we can talk how me and my team can help you. And now let's talk about this weirdest use case, and why does it even exist. So first, let's do it. We have two projects, Scrum Board Project, and the other one is Kanban Scrum Project, okay? Those are both scrum boards. You have active sprint here. You have active sprint here. Let's create a new sprint. Let's go to backlog. Let's click on create sprint. Let's edit the sprint so we know the name. Shared sprint test. Spring. It's not spring, is it? No, it is spring. Shared sprint test. Here we go. So maybe let's put a test story there. Okay, so it's not live yet, but we have it. Now, if we go to another Scrum project and let's create a story. Test story, great name. Okay, let's click create. Let's click on it. Okay, and here, more fields. So now let's move the story, let's say to this one sprint. Confirm. We're just doing it to get a sprint link, see? Just for fun of it. It says, can sprint one. Well, we can change that right here to the, you ready? Shared sprint test. Let's click on this. Whoop, and now shared sprint test sprint appeared in here. One issue, this shows also one issue. Now let's try it. Start sprint, can be planned but not start until the completion of a both sprint. Let's complete this one. Let's actually delete it. And click start sprint. do it. So here we are, shared sprint test. Huh? What happens with this one? It has start date and end date. And it's already started. It's already active. See, but I don't see any other like because the board is a filter, so I don't see, um, I don't see any other um, tickets issues from the other projects. They're running in parallel, but it's the same sprint. What happens if I go this to done? Okay, one would be done, one will be in progress, and now. What if I want to complete sprint on this one? 
I started it on here. I want to complete it here on a different project. Complete sprint. One issue was done, one issue was incomplete. See? This knows that in this sprint, one issue was done, one issue was incomplete. So I can complete sprint from this project and it will complete from the other one. The difference why they are shared is because we selected it after the fact. So if we would just create a sprint in the backlog and name it the same name, they won't be shared. They'll have reference to this project. But if you select a sprint, instead of dragging and dropping things, let's say in your project, you decide to select it using going to the issue and selecting it. That's when it becomes tricky. Because what if you have many sprints with the same name? Then you need to look at the board. You need to select a sprint of the same board as you're in. See, I have TN sprint, V2 sprint. I can select those sprints from different boards or I can have TN sprint in my board. Hope it makes sense. What happens if I complete sprint? It completes it in both of them. So let's complete sprint. One issue, one issue, complete. So you might be working a bunch of things and then suddenly your sprint is complete on the other project. You will be like, what is happening? Well, nothing is happening. You're just sharing a sprint. See, nothing here. Well, if we go to report, that's an interesting one. What would the report say? Let's go sprint report. Sprint report only showing you issues of your own project. So you might not even know that there's more issues completed here because sprint report doesn't show you. This is pretty, pretty dangerous. And this is very not recommended. Like I highly don't recommend that. I would rather you create two sprints with the same names and just move them instead of referencing sprint of the other board. Now, what is the use case for that? I don't see any good use cases. I guess one, one say, let's say you have two teams and they need to work on the same, um, on part of the same feature, let's say, but they're, they can't be on the same board. Um, they are separate teams, they have separate access and they need to be on a separate project. And then they would work and uh, yeah, well, the sprint will complete at the same time and everybody aware of that. Even then, I don't think it's a great idea. I completely think that you shouldn't do that, but it's possible. And I've seen it done, some of my clients, and it is very, very confusing. That's what I'm trying to show you. This is pretty advanced stuff and very, very confusing. So instead, um, what you need to do again, I would have said that, but if you just create sprint like this, um, and then they can be the same name, it's fine. But at least you're referencing the sprint in this board. So if you complete this one now, and the same name sprint is created here, on the other on the other board, you won't run into the same problem because you're not referencing the same one. You're not referencing sprint of the other board. So you can delete it if you want. I just want to make sure because when you when you start linking, then it just might go on a linking spree and will create your next sprint. So I'll just confirm, delete, make sure it's very, very clean. So create sprint and create sprint. Let's create them. Let's move those things again here. Whoop. See, they have the same name. This is one, this is two. Now if I start one of them, one issue will be included in sprint. Perfect. Start. Sprint has started on a scrum board project. If I go to another project, I go to my active sprints, you see nothing has started. So that's a much better way to do it. Even if the name is the same, do not, please do not reference other sprints. Hope it makes sense. I know it was a little bit uh, overwhelming, confusing, a little bit advanced. 
but I wanted to show you this because some teams run into this problem. So I want to make sure that you, my dear listeners, do not have these issues. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.